Pinky Boy, Greek Fairy Tale Once there lived a grandfather and a grandmother, but they had no children. One day the grandfather told the grandmother, If we had a son, tall and strong, we would have help. If we had a little boy the size of a little finger, that would be fine, the woman added. Before she could say it, a boy of the pinky size appeared in front of them. The old people rejoiced and called him Pinky Boy. Once Pinky Boy was walking in a meadow, and an ox was grazing there. He didn't notice Pinky Boy because he was below the grass, and he had him along with the grass. The poor ox got scared, cried, but what could he do? He went to the stream to drink water. He opened his mouth and Pinky Boy jumped out and straight into the water. The water carried him far, far past the Pine yards and fields and carried him all the way to the seashore. I am rescued, cried Pinky Boy joyfully and sat down on the sand to warm himself. Suddenly he saw something big and round. It moaned. Pinky Boy! Help me get back on my feet. I'll do anything for you, whatever you want. And who are you? I am a sea turtle. A man was passing by and turned me over, probably to pick me up on the way back. Help me, dear Pinky Boy. The little one took all his strength and flipped the turtle over. Thank you, dear. How can I thank you for your kindness? She asked. I would like you to take me to my parents and for them to always have food and warm clothes. We are poor people. But where do you get all this? There is only sand around. The turtle laughed. Sit on me and you will see. Pinky boy climbed onto the turtle and they soon reached the cave, and the cave was full of gold, pearls and diamonds. Take as much as you can, said the turtle. Now you will have both warm clothes and food. And the turtle disappeared. Pinky Boy took some gold, pearls, diamonds, and returned home. Grandfather and grandmother were very happy when they saw Pinky Boy alive and healthy. Since then, they have never been in trouble.